Are you trying to build a new sleep routine that's best for you? Well, I'm Bridget with Sleepopolis, and today our Director of Sleep Health, Dr. Shelby Harris, is here to help you out. So where do people start with building the right sleep routine for them? So I think the first thing is to kind of think about what your goal is, right? If you're someone who is all over the place with your sleep scheduling or you are going to bed too late a lot of the times, I think you have to think of what your end point is gonna be. So let's say it's someone who wants to work on being more consistent with a 10 to six sleep-wake schedule, for example. I think first thing you wanna do is pick one thing that you can do because a lot of times people say, I'm gonna overhaul my sleep and then they do way too much and then it backfires, just like so many other things when it comes to behavior change. So for some people, it could be something as simple as, okay, I'm gonna work on a consistent wake time and I'm gonna pick that 6 a.m. and I'm gonna do it as often as I can. And I'm gonna start using an alarm clock to help me more routinely. For other people, it might be before bed, I'm gonna start with a five minute wind down. Maybe it's not a full hour, but you're gonna start with a five minute wind down. I've had other patients that just set timers on their phone to say, okay, work has to stop now and I have to get ready for bed and then they have a timer that actually tells them that bed is gonna come in about a half hour. So those are just simple little changes that people can do as well as thinking about the environment, right? So maybe maybe a simple change could be I'm gonna turn the temperature down in my, my house a little bit or I'm gonna think about how can I make my bedroom get more light in the morning but keep it as dark as possible. So pick one thing, once you're good with that after a week, then add in something else and after time, all those things are really going to build up and you're going to have a new sleep schedule that you're ideally wanting to have. And roughly how long would you say it takes for someone to fully adjust to a new sleep schedule? I would say it takes about a month. So give yourself at least a few weeks it's going to maybe feel a little more rough than you're used to but after about a month you should start adjusting. We know that behavior change takes time. So the more that you adjust, the more other things are gonna fall in place with the bedtime routine, all that sort of stuff. And if you're still not adjusting, you're feeling like no matter what you do, how much sleep you get, it's just not enough, or you're trying to get enough sleep and you just can't, then talk with a specialist for sure. And you mentioned the wind down time. Any specific methods or anything you suggest people try out for that? You know, it's so interesting because I get that question all the time. It's very personal. Right? So I like to read magazines and, list, and do some stretching before bed. For someone else, that could be horrible. So it's find something that is ideally without screens, ideally, um, that is quiet, calm, and relaxing that you can do in dim light. So I'm not totally against screens. I don't love people being on screens right before bed because I find that then they tend to procrastinate bedtime. And it's also, what are we watching, right? Or looking at on our phones. But if you wanna watch like a light TV show like The Office or something, I really don't have a problem with that. But still try to put the screen down at least 10, 15 minutes before bed and try to find something for you that passes the time that's not too stimulating. Coloring books, the adult coloring books are great. Um, reading magazines, listening to audio books. I actually listen to podcasts podcasts all the time too. So I'll listen to like Conan O'Brien or Smartless, things that are funny and lighthearted. And I find that that helps to get me into the sleep routine. So find something that's personal to you that you really enjoy. So along with maybe a new work schedule or something like that, maybe someone wants to get up earlier to go to the gym every morning. Is there a different way people may know it's time for a new sleep schedule? Um, I think that when it comes to knowing it's time, it's how often are you putting off the things that you need to be doing? Is it getting in the way or impacting your life? So if the only time you have in your day to exercise is in the morning, but you're avoiding doing it, then maybe you really need, need to be adjusting your sleep schedule. Or let's say you have all the best intentions of getting up at six to exercise, but you're not going to bed until it's much later, and then you just put the snooze alarm on, that's probably a sign that you need to start making that wind down a bit more important so that you can start going to bed earlier at night. Because how big of a difference will people see when they start having a consistent schedule that's right for them? It's huge. Consistency is really what our body's natural rhythms thrive on. And so many people just think that we can outsmart it. You know, we can sleep at this time, this night, and then I'll sleep in on the weekends. And that's what prolongs the problem. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Harris. If you all have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment below and also subscribe to see more videos like this one.